Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're going to play a game called Cyber Driver. It came out on August 15th, 2019 by Ming Games. Found it on Steam for 99 cents. Uh, it's on like an endless kind of car runner. But you're kind of going through like a fifth element city at night. That's what it reminds me of. And it's kind of cool. It's pretty difficult. Uh, I don't know if it supports the gamepad or not. Just using the keyboard. Uh, you can be uh, this like taxi car here. You are this space boxy looking Prius, I don't know. Let's do the taxi. Start. So, you can click those neon signs for points. But you can't touch any walls. Now you just die, just like that. And once you get s but so far, you, um, it'll go to a first person mode. So it just kind of ramps up the difficulty even more so. Let's see if I can get there. Yeah. So it's easy to speed you up. Controls are responsive. It's just you know, gonna judge the judge the sides really well. Make, make sure you're at the end of it, and then you do have to like uh, recorrect. So I'm not gonna worry about getting the points. We'll try to get try to get to the first person part. Now I'm in first person mode, which is really kind of difficult. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Oh man. Another speed tube. Ah. So that's probably <laughs> as far as I've gotten on the game. It's, it's kind of addictive. You're supposed to, I guess, you know, get these neon, <coughs> excuse me, neon signs for points, but. Pff. All right, so there you have Cyber Driver. Okay, for the good, it's cheap, fast gameplay, has a cool look. Okay, for the bad, it can be very difficult, it can be very repetitive, and the game has no story, it's just another high score game, um, and it's one life and done, and I'll start over, it can get old kind of fast. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for a rating, it's not, not terrible, it's a pretty fun arcade type game, and for a dollar, you know, it's, it's worth it.